Hey, hey, hey. So it is day 18, which is interesting because it means it's a nine day, which means a nine day is a day of the energy of self-actualization. And on day 18 of Manifest Your Best Life in 88 days, we're talking about the solar plexus chakra. And that's the center of your power. That is the center of self-actualization. That is the center of you sitting on your throne, owning who you are, shining so bright. And we're going to talk about how to know if it's blocked today and then how to get it in order, how to get it aligned, okay? So just so you're aware, right, your solar plexus chakras in your abdominal region, it's associated with a lot of the organs that are um, like with the digestive system, the gallbladder, your liver, the adrenal glands. It, it really, like, it's in this area that, that uh, governs the metabolic and the digestive health functions of your body. So this is like super duper important. Like this is where, if you think about it digestively, this is where you get your nourishment. This is where you process food and drink and everything else so that it can, all of that good nutrients can get throughout the rest of your body. Your immune system actually is 80% or more resides in your gut, your gut health. So this is really like how you defend yourself. Immune system is how you defend yourself against like invasion of bugs, right? So the thing is, is that if you had a, like an underactive or overactive solar plexus chakra, you know, you're not really able kind of to defend yourself properly. You might set too many boundaries, much like the sacral. You might not set enough boundaries. You might feel very disempowered and everything. And it's just a show. Okay. Emotionally, this is about self-esteem, self-worth, your personal identity. All of that resides within this third chakra. All right. Now, how are you going to know if it's kind of in a bad space? So if on your list of these are the things that are going on in my life, you're having digestive issues, acid reflux, bloating, constipation, um, hyperacidity, stomach pain, ulcers, IBS, could be d- due to a deficient sac- a third chakra, not sacral, solar plexus, poor metabolism. If you, if you have trouble with weight gain, can't keep it off, you know, whatever. Um, difficulty in losing weight, that could be this as well. Fatigue, adrenal imbalances, all those different things can be a sign, a physical manifestation of solar plexus chakra blockages emotionally, it's going to be low self-esteem. You're going to have a lack of motivation. There's a theme in these lower three chakras, right? Lack of motivation, difficulty setting boundaries. You could be a workaholic too. So can I say for me, I had a very imbalanced solar plexus chakra, workaholic almost all my life, guys. So I know what this is like. Like you just never feel like it's enough, right? That's like low self-esteem. I never felt like it was enough. I always felt like I had to do more, 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 right? Um, also fear of rejection. So you might not put yourself out there because you got a fear of rejection. Okay. Um, behaviorally, are you a control freak? <laughs> mm-hmm. Or you might lack self-control, but I feel like if you're a control, lacking self-control is more going to be in the sacral chakra. Being a control freak and needed to control everything, that's a solar plexus chakra thing. Being a perfectionist can definitely, definitely overcritical of yourself and of others can definitely be a sign that we got some issues going on. And if you lack confidence in your own decision making, definitely solar plexus chakra. Okay. So now listen, how are we going to heal this? By the way, if that, any of that resonates with you, you know, the drill, give me some comments below. Let me know that this series is helping you. Let me know that some of these issues really, uh, you notice them too, right? In your own life, that it resonates, that you can identify with it. Let me know that. And while you're at it, while you're giving me a comment, don't forget to hit the heart, the like, the subscribe or follow, you know, and share it with other folks. Bookmark this, come back to it. Um, Let other people know though, for sure, that we're going through this process so that other people can manifest their best lives, your friends and whatnot can manifest their best lives in 88 days as well. Sharing is caring. Here we go. Solar plexus chakra healing techniques. Okay. Yoga. If you're into yoga, okay. The boat pose, 
the bow or bow pose, mountain pose and cobra pose. All those poses can help you heal, get this flowing, get the energy, the empowerment, get your sun just kind of shooting off on a, and firing on all eight cylinders. Like we really want to get your power back, right? Um, the breath of fire, if you're doing breathing exercises, that really can help you, right? These slow, deep belly breathing, right? Directing it into the area of the solar plexus and the sternum, right? And then expanding and contract contracting. It really helps empower that energetic center. Also, when we're meditating, what tends to pop up when I'm really focusing on that solar plexus chakra is I kind of go back to times in my life where I felt completely disempowered. Um, and, and then I replay, I change the whole scene and what's happening to pivot it to where I'm taking my power. So kind of reimagining those scenes in your life and those energies and those moments and times where your power was removed from you, you felt like you didn't have the power and either you overcompensated by being a control freak or you undercompensated by kind of like, okay, well, we're going to give it up and reimagine, like revisualize it, change the account so that your body energetically gets used to taking its power back and sitting in its own power, not from a narcissistic way, but from a healthy way, right? Um, setting intentions, um, being very consistent uh, with, you know, okay, well, we're going to do this here, this here, this here, not rigid, but consistent. Being self-reflective, okay? Um, really, and, and gi giving yourself like a knowingly pat on the back, right? knowingly patting yourself on the back when you're done good. Okay. And, and, and things are working in your favor and it's all, you know, amaze balls. Okay. So that's really very important. Um, Oh, crystals that can help yellow quartz, yellow calcite, yellow tourmaline or tiger's eye. Now we were using tiger's eye too for the sacral chakra. So see, Tiger's eye is going to help with that confidence and all of that as well. Have them around you when you're meditating. You can carry a tiger's eye with you or something. You can wear a tiger's eye pendant, get a tiger's eye ring. Honey, bring that around and really just allow the frequency of that um, stone to help elevate and heal your own solar plexus chakra. All right. Did that help you? I hope that it did. Oh, I got to find our mantras. Um, the uh, mantras for this would be, um, I, I thought I jotted them down here. I'm so sorry. Like the I am, right? Any of the I am enough. I am powerful. I am intelligent. I am, right? All the I ams are going to seat you squarely on your throne of power. Let me know in the comments if that helped. Give me some feedback. Let me know if you want some more information on this subject. I'd be more than happy to make some more videos on it, okay? Wearing yellow helps as well. So be sure you're wearing yellow. And as always, always, always play the music at the frequencies where it says solar plexus chakra healing. Go to sleep by it. And this is going to definitely help you throughout your healing process. All right. Well, next up is going to be the beloved heart chakra. So we're by the time we're done, our chakras are going to be in, a, in alignment and our energy is going to be flowing and manifestation is going to come quickly. Never forget, give permission to your purpose to provide for your person. And I'll see you next time.